Hey friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to my messy desk. Um, I do you ever wake up and you're just like, oh, I got I got stuff to do today, and yeah, I this is one of those days. But I also am very clear. I wanted to spend some time down here. Um, in my craft room, and one of the things I want to do is I'm really it's going to sound crazy. Well, maybe not to some of you. To me, it sounds crazy. Um, I'm really enjoying my no spend and going through my stuff and finding things to use. So in that, I am also um, cleaning off my desk. I want to reorganize some stuff. I, I actually have to clean off the desk, if you know what I mean, which means everything has to come off of it. And then I want to wipe it, Clorox it, whatever. Um, but I also realized that in doing so, I'm I'm making some piles and reorganizing stuff, and um, I'm realizing there's a few questions on my whoops on my videos that I haven't answered. And when I don't answer something, it's because I'm waiting to kind of film a video on it sometimes, or if I can. So I wanted to address really quickly. Um, I often say save your trash, and I want to make a video of some things that I use in my trash, and we're gonna play. I'm going to do a play video and, and do that. But as I was cleaning off the desk and organizing some things, I did want to show you some things. So I don't, I've made a complete pile on my desk and now it looks like a mess. So I just want to talk about some things that I use. Someone said like, could you make a video of how you use like the storage boxes and stuff in like in your room or, or whatever. So I wanted to just show you, cause I know I talk about it frequently. So the first thing is this now, Okay, let me see if I can make room for you to see what I'm talking about. Let's, let's, you can hear everything just falling because I've stacked it all up. Let's see if I can do that. If that helps, we're just going to have to move it to bring it back in, but that's okay. The first thing I have is this. Now, this is a little caddy I got at Goodwill. Again, everything I haul from the thrift stores, I normally, um, I, I mean, really like 99% I show you guys. Um, and this was a while ago. It's a bathroom caddy. Let me take my water out of it before I make a complete ding dong of myself. It's a bathroom caddy. It has two um, water holders, if you will, cup holders, I'm assuming. Now we're not going to use this in our bathroom. I bought it specifically for um, the craft room. Now, as I'm looking at it, I, I'm like, well, maybe we should use it in the bathroom, but this isn't something we would use, right? I, I did bring it down for this. I do keep my bottle of tacky glue upside down in one side of it. And I have my little water jar in here. Now, does it fit perfectly? No, it does not. Um, here is my regular drinking glass. You know, it doesn't even fit perfectly. It's for a little bit smaller of a glass, maybe a bathroom glass, but I don't care the small little jar. Now this is another recycled thing. Um, what was this? I don't know, salsa something, but it's completely usable jar. We use them for everything. We actually use them for water glasses most of the time. Um, so right now I have my glue stick in there. So that's one thing I bought it at the thrift store. That's not a cardboard box. However, this box down here is. So what I have down here is a cardboard box. I would be happy to pull it out for you, except I can't. It's glued into the bottom. Why? Because I keep my glue in here and sometimes it, you know, leaks. Okay. This was an old box from like some of my Arbonne fizz sticks or whatever. And so it's just a little container. Okay. And it helps what? it helps contain stuff, right? So I can put all of my glues in here that are different sizes and weird shapes that don't really fit well. And I have a couple more, so they go in there, right? And then that all fits off to the side here. Okay. And I do tend to put my brushes, well, I'll soak that one. Yeah. And then I tend to put my brushes to the side and I put my little, um, I don't know what that is. Scraper glue thing. That's the official name of it. It's not what it says on the box when you buy it, just so you know, but okay. So that's the first idea. There's just one little tiny box. This would have gone into trash or recycling. Obviously it's just a little cardboard box, but again, it's the perfect size for holding little things on your desk. Okay. So that all goes over here. And I will, 
Okay, so what's next? Next, I have one of my old tea boxes. So if, you're, if you drink tea, now I just leave the top open. Obviously the top does close. I did not take the whole top off because I may choose to use this for something else in the future. And I don't mind the top hanging off of it. It's on one of my um, shelves kind of above my desk right here where I can reach it. And it just sits, right? You could obviously take the top off and it's a beautiful like tin, which will last forever, okay? <laughs> um, if you're not gonna use it for something on your craft desk, you know, use it for something else in your kitchen, use it for something else somewhere else. You can take the label off, okay? You could um, recover this with pretty scrapbook paper. You can also plant a plant in here. So I have a few of these on my windowsill with plants. Okay, so that's one way I use a container. Let me just put that away. Okay, here is another one. This little, um, this was a box of cards. Um, I don't know if I have one in here. I've showed them to you. I found them at the thrift store here. It was a box of cards like this. They had different artwork on them. I, I don't know. It was maybe a matching game or something for children. It was in the children's section. I bought it for the artwork. I bought it for these. Some of you have gotten some of these in Happy Mail with different art on them. Okay. But the actual box itself um, is completely usable as a container. It happens to fit my little gel crayon. Um, I don't know what these are cheapo paint sticks, kid paint sticks. Okay, so they're nice and contained on my desk. They're also very, uh, what's a good word? Grabbable. <laughs> like I can move them on my desk. I could, if I wanted to like take these upstairs and let me see if I can get rid of some of this shadow or does it just add a double shadow? Not really sure. Uh, yeah, so when something's in a container, obviously you can move it as you need to, okay? So that will go back where it goes. Oh, I see another thing back here. I don't know if I wanna grab this for you or not. Well, I have a container, excuse my reach. I'm not gonna grab it for you. I keep a bunch of plastics and paper folded up in a box at the back of my desk. Okay, so they're easy to reach for. This I would blot ink with. You guys see me pick up ink or whatever. If you actually need it to wipe something, you could. This is what I do a lot of smush stuff on. Okay, this came out of a lunch meat container. You guys have seen me use this forever. Any form of plastic that I'm not going to reuse or repackage, I try to fold up or reuse bubble wrap, whatever. It's all folded in a container uh, back here at the back of my desk, which is a plastic container uh, I don't know from something in the fridge or something. Okay. All right. Here's my other favorite one. I've showed you guys this quite a bit. This was an old soap box that we got where at TJ Maxx, it was $4 and it had a beautiful, uh, wrapped. I, I, I bought it for the soap as a gift. I wanted the soap. It was wrapped in beautiful paper with a charm on the front and it was for a very specific gift or whatever, but it was just part of part of a little gift. Or, and so uh, I kept the box. The top was beautiful. I did not keep the top. Uh, and then it fits my three Jane Davenport water pellets watercolor palettes. Now this is a regular tin size. There's lots of people that make a tin size this big. So, you know, you could do something similar, but that's a, that's a box of soap. That's a soap box. That's a, <laughs> not a soap box you stand on and, you know, preach your thing. Um, it's a bar of soap box. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. When you go shopping and you buy stuff, just be careful and check the packaging. Okay. All right. Let me, let me sit down. Oh my gosh. There's a little piece of paper that I need for today. See, I was supposed to do this. Okay. So really quickly in front of me right here, I made a little drawer. It just slides in on one of my shelves. There's no top to it. This was the top to a box. Okay. That was going to be thrown out and I stapled a piece of ribbon on the front like super cheesy, super tacky. It's just for me. I literally just staped it. So I have a little bit of a handle to pull. You don't need it. You could just pull it from the edge, 
but it just slides in on top of my drawer set that already exists and it's it's in between two so I can it now pulls out okay all right let me show you what we have here so this is another box again I've already shown you guys I think most of this but someone specifically asked I thought I would put it all into one thing all right uh, what do I have here this was obviously cotton swabs I know specifically these are from like the Dollar Tree we use them for something you could make this super cute you could washy this you could just mm, cute it up okay or you could leave it like this I don't know I put my tea tags in it and they're perfect and I know where they are it's not a great box I mean you can see it doesn't I mean don't put <laughs> you guys remember those like ziploc commercials or whatever where they like show really bad trash in one and she's like do I put it in my regular one or what I was like don't put something that leaks in here you know what I mean but but yeah same idea same box as you can see okay uh, this one I have paper clips in but now I'm feeling like we need to cover these so it'll probably go in my project list <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right there in fact oh 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 see here look here is the top to the little box I just showed you that holds the watercolor crayons okay here's the top to it I have a I have a paper clip on it just because I'm not using it and it doesn't fit in my other it, it doesn't matter uh, I took it off of something it it's it's a traveling paper clip is what it is in here I have lots of little prompts that I want to do from um, these are from Janet and like you can see I don't do them in order I just grab them I write them down and when I get a chance okay but any little um, any little prompt list I have so this one has a like peach was it from last August and then I found a peach so I popped it in here okay but I have a little box I keep them all in here and it sits right in front of me in between my little shelf here okay so that's where the top went okay let's see let's see this box I have showed you guys but I could not let it go my son got um, something for Christmas oh yeah a wallet from Macy's and um, so Perry Ellis makes a beautiful box obviously Christmas you guys they have all these fun boxes that the rest of the year sometimes you know gift boxes but look how fun it is with the clear and so I've just been keeping you know strips of paper in here strips of paper that I'm going to use to either stamp on or cut or punch they're a little narrow for punch-ins I use these normally for words for something else but it's a nice way to keep them because it it just kind of fits in there now I have another drawer of what I would call borders, but that's all like scrapbook paper. This is just more plain paper that again, I would use. I mean, I see some, I see some stuff like this in here, but for the most part, it's plain paper that, that we don't need to save. It's the back of tape, but okay. So, and again, same idea. It has a little pull, um, pull ribbon on it. So you can use it as a drawer. It would slide onto a thing nicely and you could access it this way. Again, it's also very travelable, portable. <laughs> uh, yeah. So again, if I wanted to grab some stamps and go up to the TV and work on my little uh, TV tray thing up there with my husband while we watch something, this is super easy to do. Okay. You just grab your three little boxes of stuff you want and a pair of scissors and go. Okay. So that's another use of a box I have. All right. Let's see what else I brought down. So the other thing is you don't have to use everything, but you can. I just want to, you know, okay. This is a box of soap. This is actually from the Dollar Tree as well. This was, uh, I actually grabbed this from work, but, um, soapbox again I get it not the soapbox but you know what I'm saying okay what do you want to put in this I have no idea let's try a few things just to see size okay so I have a big stampin up pad so if you had a different I don't know what your desk looks like I don't know what space you know people have so the bigger stamp pad fits in here you could fit a few right obviously a smaller stamp pad fits in there okay you could fit obviously a few also with a little bit of room to spare over here okay so you could put some stamp pads in there and have them 
uh, ready to go. You could have some of these tooth box, uh, tooth box. You guys, I'm telling you, the words are like jumbled. Q-tip boxes, and you could put a few of those in here. You could fit, it looks like three to me in here. And again, you'd have a little extra room here. What do you want to put there? I don't know. I don't know. Put something in there. Put some tape in there. Okay. Put some washi in there. And then you have a little container on your desk that's workable. Okay. Or, you know, recycle it. That's fine. It's just like, you don't have to go buy something. Now, quite frankly, I know I made some trash boxes, but the other thing I use, this is a great trash box. So again, especially if you're up at the TV or at the dining room table or doing something, you know, kind of portal. I don't know. This is a great little trash box because little bits, you know, fit in here very well on your working space. That absolutely is not trash, but you get the point. Okay. So here's a little box. Now, if I'm not going to use them right now, this will go into recycle, but I will take a look around my room. I normally save them, kind of bring them down to my room, um, try them out different places, if you will. Sometimes your space changes. Sometimes the need that you have on your space changes. Now, now here's an example. I'm looking just in front of me. I have my stacked drawers of tape in front of me, but on top of it, is mismatch of stuff. So I'm just going to reach, I'm just going to reach and I'll tell you on top, I have some of my stamps that I, <laughs> I love and I put them there consciously because I want, okay, so, so these, these I use all the time because they're my babies. Okay. Now, I, I have some other stamps. I'm just going to play. I'm, this is kind of how I do. This is how my brain works. Okay. Now I have a couple other stamps that are close right here. These were handmade to me. Okay. Um, by Valet. Um, this is another, you know, boat one. And I have Rue's little soccer one here. Okay. <laughs> Why I keep them in different spaces. I don't know. I just do. I have those two right there and I have these up here, but what I'm thinking is instead of them just being stacked on top of my shelf up here, we could, you know, put them in here. Now I have other boxes of stamps. Don't get me wrong. These are just the ones that I have literally within four feet of my face to four feet, four inches, whatever to, to grab that I know are there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like this because again, I can't quite see what's in here, but I can see the top you know, so we can, we can try it. Okay. I'm going to show you something else that I have. This always stays right in my reach. It's my favorite thing ever. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other thing I have. I have a few things, little, little bits like this. My, one of my tags things broke. Okay. I have it up here to fix. Okay. So I could, I could have like a fix it box or a little box that just, there's a tag that needs to go in the tag box. Excuse my reach. We're, we're organizing and doing it together here, folks. Okay. So I could, instead of they're they're all up here in this little plastic top of this drawer. I mean, I know where they are, but I could organize them a little bit better and clean off the top of this drawer. Oh, 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 oh. See little bits I was going to use and didn't, they get, they get put right here. Okay. So we could organize a little differently. So try stuff out around your space. I can tell you, I also have little bits in here. So if we were to go through here, oh, see, I've started collecting little bits in here. So maybe there's a better way. The other thing to do in here is if we wanted to Cause we're not going to go buy Q-tips just to have a box. Right. And we don't, I mean, these aren't the Q-tips we use, but anyway, okay. Not the point. Uh, we're going to try stuff out. So I have a little phone. This is obviously my box. See, I'm just collecting stuff so you can see now this is a little, Oh, it's not. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. Audition some things out. Can you guys see that? Yeah. 
So see how the top, I think it's going to fit. If I try it in my little drawer space here, it absolutely fits. So I would rather have these little, these little things in this little box than the stamps on top for right now. Trust me, we'll find another box. <laughs> All right, so, so let's put these little beads and stuff in here. All right, this is another tag. So it goes in here. This is paper clips. So we'll put some paper clips in here that have not found their home yet. I have one of these bulb pens, I think. I took it off of something. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put it in here because that's where my brain would look for it. I have another box of paper clips in their paper clip box. So eventually, I don't know what you get. This is the tiniest little clip. Look how stinking cute it is. Maybe I'll put that on my, um, my journal this month for now because it's green. It's green. Uh, so see, I've just put some things in here that don't necessarily and sometimes we just want to reorganize and put stuff away this little wood thing can go in here I'm going to put these in here uh, now see see you can either be lazy or concise I don't know which word you choose to these are two different things and to me they go in two different boxes because I'm not going to look for them in the same place so I am going to put the paper clips in there this is starting to get a little mixed up and that's fine they will all be paper clips. Now this safety pen, this, this is a gem. <laughs> I don't have any other safety pens down here. I'm going to put it in that box. These little other safety pens and stuff. Um, these were from, uh, what I think lollipop. I'm going to put them in this box for right now. I have another stuff. I, okay. I know. And this little tiny clip is going to go in here because I don't need it. Okay. So things will go. Now, this all could fit on here. They happen to have a space at the top. And, you know, what else? We could put confetti in this little box. I don't really care. There's no, you know, I'm not saying it can only hold one thing. But here's a paper clip. It's going to go in the paper clip box. All right. So for right now, this box is a little mismatched. This is a magnet. Again, it doesn't all go together. This, this clearly does not go in here. I'll put that in my ephemera drawer. So, but the point is try out your boxes that you have and see what works where. Okay, so that still fits in there. These actually don't need to go in here. I don't know chalkboard tags. Those would be fun to play with. They don't actually go in this box. This is, again, right here in front of me box, and it does not need to hold uh, that. So what else does it hold? It holds these two. I'm going to put, I made a stamp. <laughs> I made two stamps and uh, here's a little tiny stamp block. Oh, someone else also said the other day they didn't know how to use their stamp blocks. And so, yes, some of them have a handle. This is actually a cheaper one. This is just plastic. This is an acrylic block. It is better quality, but it does not have a handle and they come in all different sizes. But any of your flat stamps cling stamps will cling to this and then you can use it right this is a very small one and I rarely use it so it obviously got used for something I think I'll probably put it back in my big stamp cabinet this guy stays out all the time I use it for stamps I use it to cut washi I use it all the time so all right right in front of me I see another little beautiful wood thing it's going to go in this little box so the more little like a container we have there okay and then those two are the stamp pads I'm kind of using most right now. Why? Because they're the two I pulled and have on my desk. We could make a whole box of just stamp pads. This is very random. You do you. Okay. Whatever works for you and your brain. Here is a different way to use a pill container. I made these little, oh, we didn't put everything away. Well, I'll put that in my drawer for now. And here's a little paper clip. Now see this, um, uh, this, probably needs to not be down here. I'm not going to use this here. It was in my planner. That's why it's down here. I was like, where? Okay. That's what exactly what happened. So I, 
I'll do, I'll put it right back on my handle so I see it when I bring my planner back down. This was a planner box. I made a bunch of a little uh, dots, melted bead dots to use. And so I put them in the different colors, you know, the pill box by color, okay? All right, let's put the stamps back because what I don't, all right, I'm auditioning a box. So see, this is another box. I don't know what it's from. Here, we'll put these back. I was seeing if this box fit on top of my little acrylic shelf that holds my drawers, but it does not. It's too long, okay? Now, would I put my stamps in here? Probably not, because I can't see them. And again, I'm a, I'm a butterfly organizer. I like to see everything, which to a lot of you looks like chaos. So I get it, but I'm glad that I know why I do what I do, okay? So... Um, so one, this box doesn't fit there. Okay. And I don't want it for these stamps. So I'm looking really quickly. I didn't bring down anything else that, Ooh, and I have one more thing I want to show you. I don't have another box or container that I'm looking to find a home right now. So I'm going to put my little stamps back up here. Oh, here's another, um, bulb pen. I absolutely love those. I'm, I'm going to start trying to use them. I've never used them and I think they're just so cute. Okay. So I'm going to put my stamps back here that I use now football season's over. So I could move this out of that. This one I just think is hilarious. I was just trying to use it. These are funny. They came in like a set and obviously the soccer ball. So those I will put up front right where I can see them again. And, and my handy dandy. Okay. This I'll put away. This I'll put away. All right. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have a roll of tape that needs to go in its home because it has a home. This is one of my other containers. I've showed you this many times. This is a gum pouch. It can fit a lot of things. If you wanted to make, we've made little first aid boxes out of these. So if you are a scout leader, Girl Scout leader, Boy Scout leader, Indian tribe, whatever they call that. I forgot the name of those. Anyway, campfire girl, any of those, if you want to make these for, oh, doesn't matter. You can make little first aid boxes in these. They're super, they're super cool. If you're going to buy the gum anyway, don't go buy the gum just to have the plastic container. If you're not going to use the plastic container, does that make sense? But if you're going to buy the gum anyway, and you can find a use for the plastic container, then, then do so. You can put, you could make a great little slow stitch kit in here. That would be super fun. So maybe we'll make up some samples of what you can use for these. Uh, I tend to like to put some journaling cards in them. And then this is a nice to go caddy, if you will. Okay. It fits these perfectly. Even if you're going to mail in a happy mail, this is a little bit thicker, but uh, if you have a, a crafty, crafty friend who you swap with in person, you know, it's a fun way to do that. Okay. You could put some smaller photos in here. You could put some washi somehow in here also. Okay. It's not, you know, super great. It doesn't hold a lot, but again, instead of it just floating around your backpack or whatever, you could put erasers in here. Let's see. Let's just, let's just sample out a couple things. Now these are not my favorite stamps or my favorite inks. Well here, here's a Stampin' Up ink. These do not fit. They're too fat. These little ones. Okay. Cause Okay. So that doesn't work, but again, you just audition some things. Okay. If you have a small set of pens, you could put stickers in here, all sorts of goodies. Okay. So this is super savable. Definitely will be used. And, oh no, Allison, what did you do? You ding dong. As I knock something over, I'm soaking one of my glue things in water in a little envelope went into the water, which, you know, is no big deal because we'll just, I mean, whatever. One, it will dry in two. If not, I mean, we're going to paint it anyway. Okay, here's the box of the day. Now, I don't normally save these, but I did think I would bring it down. This is obviously a cream cheese box that uh, I found on the counter this morning. And so is it is it usable? Absolutely. And if you don't like, you know, the cream cheese packaging, obviously cover it. Like, look how stinking pretty that box would be. Okay. So again, why would you want this? Uh, I, I would probably glue these down. Okay. Just cause I don't feel like we need flaps. 
and it creates a little bit more sturdy side. Now you could cut off the whole top here. Okay, so again, I could make this my little stamp holder box at the top of my, of my drawer or of my thing. That might work. Okay, so we could audition that, that'd be fine. What else would fit in here? Well, again, just try stuff, okay? Now those don't necessarily fit. I'm curious, um, you know, cause sometimes like here's a box I have full of cards right here. Definitely photos, smaller photos. Obviously smaller cards would fit. These are all cards like out of a flow box or flow book. Okay. So you could keep little things like this on your desk. You could keep, um, things you cut out. So I'm just looking really quick. Any of this ephemera, any of your printables that you cut out and you have, I have them in a little thing over here. You could cut out and keep in a little box so they would be ready to go for the month. Like if you got your printable sheets or you printed up something and you wanted kind of your theme for the month, a lot of them would fit into this box. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Okay. And so that's another way to do it. Let's see. Let's see. I happen to have, because I'm super blessed, <laughs> I happen to have some washi samples right here from lots of friends and look how beautiful those go in to the box. Look at that. Look at that. And if you wanted to close the box, again, you could cover it and decorate it, but you have a nice little box full of washi. That's super fun. You could definitely, uh, depending on what I put in here, like I would maybe if I was going to keep my washi in here, I might cover this whole thing in washi, right? That's super fun. When you guys, when you guys get sample cards, uh, and they're just one of my favorite things, because again, you know, my deal on happy meal, you guys, you don't have to buy the whole thing. You get a little sample of it from your friend and I would never buy like a whole roll of whatever. And then it's like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Or you don't have the access to buy it. Like, I don't know where you get this but how stinking cute is that? Like I've totally used all three of these. Okay. So some of these, we just like, everybody doesn't have the access to the same things. Look at these. And so to share them, I think is wonderful. So there's my little two cent, you know, spiel on how to share or why to share happy mail again, but look how much fun that is. That's super cute. Now I don't need this box for my washi because I have them in a container already over here behind me, but that is a perfect, a perfect way to use um, a box. Now, stuff like this, you're going to buy stuff at Dollar Tree. Again, this comes in a beautiful box. Do not throw it out. Woo, it's stuffed to the rims, you guys, because I put them all in here. This, I have like four sets of lunch cards in here. This little guy doesn't fit. There, these, these did not come in this box. Okay. These came in different boxes that you've seen me share this, this box had these long ones in it, but I've combined them. Okay. And trying to use them, but this little guy's too fat. Well, probably not. We'll just make it work. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. And now it's contained in a place and I know what they are. So if you have a little box, you know, cover it, label it, make it pretty. So you'll use it, but cut up your little things. And then you have, again, a little space to put things. If you have a longer box and you have, look, border stamps, you could put those in it. Okay. Now me, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'll tell you why. I don't want to put my hand in here. Um, <laughs> I'm a very tactile person. I don't want to put my, I don't want to put my hand in here to get this out every time it bothers me. So I would do two things. Um, first of all, I might cut this to be more narrow or to be more shallow. Okay. Cause that way I could access things. I also may not put something flat in here. Okay. So then what's the option you say, Allison, and like, just don't think I'm weird for that. Okay. <laughs> 
what's the option? I don't know. We just try other things out. Okay, here are um, here are some tape rolls I happen to have and some glue dots. Whoops. Okay, now that I think works just swimmingly, swimmingly. I can see them. I can access them. And so that to me is a better fit for this box. Okay, now I'll be honest, I currently have them. Uh, in a little box of all sorts of magic. Sometimes you got to clean out your boxes, people. I have them in this box. Now, truth be told, this box I bought, it's obviously plastic. I bought it at uh, Goodwill. I did haul it for you for $1.50. I bought two of them. The other one's right here. The reason I bought this box is because it's collapsible and it folds flat. Okay. So, I thought that would be fun for travel or for whatever. Do I travel? No. Do I take this if I do? No. Is it a cute container? Yes. Okay. So, but, but I don't know. Maybe we found a better box for the tape and the glue. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So for right now, they're going back in that box, but there's other boxes that work. Here's a little stamp that's not getting used probably because it's not in the right place. So try out your boxes, clean out your boxes. Cause look, I didn't know this little thing was in there. I'll put it in the front so I can see it. Figure out where things go, where you know they go. And if you're not going to use it, then go ahead and recycle it. Okay. So this box as of right now may be getting recycled. I am not done playing in my room today, so I'm not going to throw anything out today. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't get used, I'll probably toss this box. Okay. So there's that. Let's see what else we have. This is obviously um, out of a Triscuit box. Why did I bring it down? I have no idea. Um, I feel like I made a box, a journal cover out of the actual box is what happened. And so what do we do with this? Well, we have a few options. And so I think that, which leads me to my next thing. Okay, so same thing with the cheese box. If we don't use it today, like if I don't find a space for it, um, I'm going to, I'm just actually looking around me. I, <laughs> as I look around me, I think this guy is going to get used. Okay. Because it's long and narrow and I think it fits very well on my windowsill over here. And I think it will hold some things. So I think this one did find a home. So I'll move it to the left instead of the right. This guy, I'm not too sure about. So it goes on my right because if not, it's going out the door. Okay. This however is, um, is completely usable. So I'm going to just cut it into some pieces. And I think later we will make another video of playing. Okay. Because these less so, but we might, these will make fun tags. Okay. And we'll probably cover this side and journal on the back or something of that nature. Okay. So those will go into the tag box now or cut up card box. Do you have a cut up card box? As I say it, as I say it, um, I'm not too sure I have a cut up card box. You know, it would make a great cut up card box. This thing right here. So again, figure out what works for you, how you store things. You can tell I already am putting them in this way. Okay. Because I'm a vertical store. There is no way, no way ever. I'm going to store them flat like this. Well, that one doesn't fit, but do you understand what I'm saying? You might you might store things flat. That's not ever going to happen in Allison's world. The, the things I do have flat in drawers are very difficult for me. I don't like going in them. Okay. Not like, not like it causes me anxiety. Like I don't, I avoid it just cause like it's hard. I don't understand. Like I don't want to dig through the piles of stuff to get to the bottom piece. What if the bottom piece is the one I want? So I like things like this where I can do this, right? That being said, I have another box next to me. You guys all know. Well, I have this box, which is my working box, but you guys, my whole room is just like an organizational rebox of stuff. Rebox it, rebox it, rebox it. I've been working in here. So um, this is my bit box next to me. In here, I have two boxes. Okay. In the bottom right here, I have, this was an old strawberry box, the wooden kind. Is that not cool? And this is an old like wooden box. I think it's supposed to go in a drawer or something, obviously, but this would obviously fit in another container. If you have a plastic or another box, you could put something in here like this 
and put things in here, okay? So you can see I store things, again, vertically, but some of this cut up stuff I could store in something like this, all right, as an example. Okay, so this guy definitely has a home. It just doesn't know its job yet. What else were we gonna do? I was gonna show you a couple other things. Let me squish this out. Look at the beautiful, Oh, I've had this forever from Sweet L. Cutie pie. Okay, it stays right there. Okay, so what else did I bring down? This I found in my stash. It uh, holds, it held some needles and thread. Now, you could absolutely throw this entire thing out, but before I threw it out, I thought, could we use it? That's the only question. The answer is always yes. The actual better question is, will we or do we need to? But I want to give it the opportunity to have a new life, okay? I don't want to put it in the trash. It will be here longer than my children, so we might as well figure out if we can, if we can use it, if we need it, okay? So this is the first thing, obviously. Is this usable? Pfft, obviously. Look at that beautiful piece of white. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So what will we do with this? We will probably smush it first. Okay. It's glossy. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm hesitant to like, um, I'm so sorry, you guys, I have trap. Okay. Um, I'm hesitant to just like stamp on it or something. I, before you put color down, I don't know. I might put a little file board on here or something, but that's a beautiful piece of cardstock. Okay. Uh, probably two, look at two nice bookmark tags. Okay, so that's definitely usable. And then look at this little interesting container. Now, I'm probably not going to use it, but let's think about if we could. What could we use it for? Well, the first um, thought is, is it usable as an actual container? Now, <laughs> again, the answer is always yes, you guys. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you the test answer, okay? The answer is always yes, okay? Now, again, for what? I don't know. I don't know. Put some pens in it. Put some pens that you want to take in your backpack um, or, or something, you know, a little, a little to go kit. Okay. You could put some pencils in here if you don't have a pencil pouch or if you wanted something. I don't know. Okay. April's like earth month, you guys. So let's start prepping. Let's start using our trash. Let's start recycling in every way we can and reducing what we buy. Okay. Everything comes in plastic. So if it's going to come in plastic, let's see if we can use it. I mean, it's almost like a challenge, right? So this fits four ish pens. Okay. Of these, of my zig markers that I have. Oh, uh, I don't know. What else? What else do you use all the time? Those are not even going back in the right thing. How about washi? Would it fit some washi? My assumption is yes washi washi how much fun like what if you went to a little i don't know swap um craft day something day and you were gonna share some washi i don't know depth wise i'm just looking this one's too fat so you need the more narrow ones okay but like what fun is that whoops super fun okay so you could put some washi in here call it a day certainly your narrow ones fit look at this how stinking cute look at that look at that little fun happy meal you could make a little strip here that says to my crafty friend right no you don't want to remail all this i'm not saying that i'm just saying like again if you're gonna you know, bring something, do something. I don't know. Take it up to the TV. I don't know. Or put it in recycle if you recycle this at your house. Now, the problem is at our house, these types of things don't get recycled. So I am uh, doubly inspired to try to, you know, use them for something. What else fits in here? Well, uh, anything long, right? Um, Mr. Janky fits in here. Mr. Jenky is quite happy in there with, with some of his friends, his, his crafty besties also fit in here. Okay. So you could easily pack some brushes to go. That would be fun. You could put, right. That's, that's a good time. 
I'll tell you where else uh, paint brushes kind of go in here. Now I would not mind maybe as much. No, I'm not doing that. Never mind. Delete that idea. <laughs> For me, not for you, for me, for me, for me. Okay, what else fits in here, you ask? I don't know, but let's see. I happen to have some chapsticks right here on my desk. Don't ask. Okay, I like chapstick. I like those. Uh, this guy doesn't fit. The other ones fit. Yep. So you could put stuff in here. I don't know, you guys. This is a really hard one, but just, you know, just try it out. Give it a second chance. Give it a second chance. All right. Now, that's if we're going to use it as a container. If we're not going to use it as a container, so I'm going to assume we're not, let's go ahead and cut it apart and see. Because automatically, automatically, I get two what I would consider uh, paint trays. Okay? Now, again, depending on what you're using, depending... I would probably use this one for my paint tray. I could put some uh, squish paints in here. You could play with it, do whatever you want. Right. And it has a high enough edge that it's not going to come up. So we're playing, we're painting, we're doing whatever, even for your kids. Right. Let them play in here. You don't have to clean it. You don't have to do anything. Use it. Right. Super fun. So that's definitely doable and usable. If you wanted to put um, whatever your paint markers, you could, you know, squish some paint in there. So this is definitely usable as a tray. OK, so I'm going to hold on to it. For a little bit. It's going to go back here in my in my bucket with my plastic and my paper and my whatever. OK, uh, same thing here. It has less of a lip, but totally usable. OK, the other thing this is like obviously usable for is if you uh, wanted to do, uh, you know, you could paint this side and then pick up paper off, you know, paint off of it. OK, so this one's less to me, less usable. I would use it more as almost a thing. OK, like this. Oh, well, there you have it. There you have it. OK, let's uh, let me show you. There's the idea. OK, if you don't have a stamping block, if you don't have a stamping block and you have something like this, anything plastic will do. So you're going to take one of your flat stamps. You're going to peel it off of its backing. And you now have a stampable uh, thing, okay, that you can hold on to. This actually has a, li a lip. So uh, it works. It works just fine. Do we want to try this? Um, this ink pad is not amazing. So that's okay though. And Allison, do you have a piece of paper? No, nowhere on my desk. Do I? Oh, oh, my, my, my boy and his mail to me. Um, do I have literally, literally you guys. Okay. We're going to try it on here. Oh, after I just said, I'm not going to, but we're going to use our trash. Okay. We have an ink. Oh, and I got the middle. Well, be careful with that. That's okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and it's brown. Well, that'll be interesting. Okay, not too shabby. All right. So super usable with your stamps. So if you have any sort of uh, plastic like that, you can make little stamp handles. That's super easy. And again, especially with our stamps, you know, our flat stamps, you need a little bit of a thing. This is a great base, totally usable. Okay. So that's one way to use your stamps and some trash. All right. So that's exciting. And so not too sure what we're going to do with that piece right now, but this is all again, usable. I would probably use maybe, oh, here's another thing. Look at this. Now this we may keep. That's interesting to me. So as you're just, I just play with it. You guys just play with your trash. And then make an executive decision. This has to go in the trash. Again, we don't recycle this where we live. So, um, okay, this is going to be a very fun tag. It has some really cool depth to it. It is thick. It's going to be thick. It already has a hole in it. But I am going to make this into a tag. Oh, and I totally screwed that up. You could... Um, Hmm. Well, we still could save it. I think, where does this go? How does this go? 
goes like that. I'm wondering, why is it not fitting back together? What's happening? Because it goes like this, Allison. Ding dong. Okay, I don't want both sides of it. We could make like a shaker big fat thing, but I don't want that. So we don't need that half for that. So this is going to be a fun tag though. It has dimension and I always try to use trash during April for Earth Month. So this will be a fun, this will be fun. So that will be, I put it there like you can see it. Uh, you can't see it, but that will be fun. So that's going to be a tag. We'll put it in the, we'll put it in the to be made pile. Is that this? Is that this? Maybe that's what this is. Okay. This is like to be made stuff out of. <laughs> Look at that. It has a purpose. All right. Trash. This came off of our bananas. This is absolutely going to my journal today because, well, it's beautiful and it's green. And I, I don't, I don't know why we're wrapping organic bananas in plastic, but I will be using it. So that's a fun fodder from the day. Fun daily fodder. Here's another daily fodder from the day. This is, this is last night. And I think if there's a motto to be had, it, it is this. And I think, I think we should just live by this. So, uh, we had a day yesterday and, and I, I stopped to get dinner on the way home and got ice cream. And my husband and I ate tacos and watched a movie and had ice cream. And it was, it was freaking delightful, you guys. <laughs> And so this will go in. I already washed it with soap and everything. And so it's clean. It can go into my journal. All right. Here's the last container of the day. This is obviously a strawberry bucket thing um, or berry bucket. I don't know what we had in here. Uh, again, it, I don't know why everything comes in plastic, but it does. So if you can reuse this, reuse it. Okay. It's not super, you know, this is that super crinkly plastic. I will say I found an artist. I don't know if I can find her. Uh, she makes jewelry and art out of trash and she made like an amazing necklace out of this. And I was like, holy cow. So no, no, that's not what we're doing today on my channel, but, uh, yay for her. Okay. I don't know what you want to use this for. Again, it's super usable in terms of space. So again, I don't know what your space looks like, but just in front of me, if, if you needed to contain some things, you know, it could hold a stapler. I do have another drawer of washi right here. It could hold washi, obviously. It could hold your bits. It could hold, um, you know, your cards. Let's see. Let's see what it does with the cards. They're a little fat. Well, this one, oh, because maybe, no, they pretty much fit, you guys. They pretty much fit. They do. So that's a very useful way. Cut up some of your scrapbook paper. I mean, they don't have to be Project Life cards. Not, you know, most of these aren't. Uh, cut up your scrap paper into, you know, sizable, sizable things. It, you could obviously store things this way as well, right? To kind of just keep them contained. So you'd have cards in here or just your stickers. Again, your cut ups from your monthly printables. Cut them up and organize them so they're they're in a place. If you have a monthly journal you do. Again, my scrapbook samples or uh, washi samples would sit in here. If you have a monthly journal you do and you want to put all of your little green bits in here for March or whatever your color, like whatever you're doing, right? And I know I want to use March stuff. You know, I could put it all in here so I know where it is. See all the green? And then I have a little box of green to play with. Okay. Uh, which is not a bad idea. I, I, I have my monthly box right to the left of me. It, however, still has February in it and I need to take it all apart. So until that time, you know, you could make, you could make a box of March right here. Things I know I want to use and whether that's, whether that's because it's a certain theme or color or because you pick things every month and you just know, I want to use this supply this month and I'm going to put them in there. Okay. So I don't know. Yeah. Use your stuff. That's kind of fun, right? So that's that. Okay. I have one more thing to show you. I found this gem. Um, <sighs> I love it. I absolutely love it. It was an old jewelry box and I took out the earring holder jewelry thing down here. You can see, I mean, it's old. Um, 
I will like re-glue this and then put some paper down here. I think it's fabulous. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Now, I know this reminds me of my childhood because this is the era I grew up in. Well, not when it was made maybe, but just, I don't know. I love it. What will I use it for? I don't know, but I will tell you. I will show you when I do. Again, we just audition things or find what we need it for. Does it fit pins? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, well, it's a little tight for pins, but they would definitely fit. I mean, and those aren't the same pins everybody has, obviously. So does it fit, you know, other pens? Yes, it does. Look how amazing that is. Heck yeah. Okay. So um, it could also fit watercolor crayons. It could fit all sorts of things. It could fit your watercolors, probably two palettes in here. Maybe you want to try it. Maybe not too big. So probably not the best use of that. Let's see what else you guys actually, you know, help me sometimes with ideas too. So, Oh, uh, let's see how many, I bet you it fits glue sticks. Well, it sure does. It would fit quite a few glue sticks. So you could store your glue sticks in here. Look how happy they'd be. Oh my gosh. Okay. What else does it hold? Does it hold like daubers? It could probably not very well. I mean, you know, daubers are all different sizes and stuff, but it could, right? So maybe you have a container like this on your desk. I don't know you guys, but let's, um, let's find ways to reuse and recycle. Okay. Let's, let's come up with ideas to reuse and recycle our stuff that we already have, our stuff that we're bringing into our homes in the form of like trash. Okay. And I don't know, let's just be creative with it. So that's it. I hope that answers like some of your guys's questions on that. That's at least how I use some of my stuff. Of course, that's not the only way to use it. Of course, that's not all the ways I use it. I'm just trying to think the other way. Well, duh, the other way I use it. Sorry, I haven't even showed you. And this isn't even a good example. I don't have an example right here, but this would be the premise. Okay. So in my little drawer, okay, instead of these plastic bends, you could have boxes and I have used boxes and replaced them. So as an example, our little box right here would replace this one and it would go into our drawer. And the nice thing about this, you guys, is these are completely customizable. So you could, again, cut it shorter if it was too deep for your drawer and, you know, you could put them in here and then go through things. Okay. So this is the other way I use uh, boxes. And again, when you buy plastic containers, they don't always fit. And like you can see, this one doesn't match. I mean, not that they have to match, but little boxes are, the cardboard ones are so easy to manipulate and kind of, you know, have fit somewhere. So that's the other main, main way I use a lot of my boxes. So, all right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope that answered some questions. If you have any more questions or comments or ideas, how you use your recyclable items or things you bring into your home, let me know. Uh, you know, yes, yes. We always want to encourage others and inspire others of ideas that work for you. Again, everyone's space is different and everyone organizes differently with their brain. So sometimes you see something, you're like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that, but it makes sense to my brain. I want to do it that way. That that's great. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please let me know below if, you know, if you're new here, welcome. And if you could like and subscribe or comment below, that really helps. And I would love to get to know you. So please, and thank you for that. And if you're returning, just gosh knows, you know, I love you and I love this community so much. So I appreciate being here. So that's it. You guys have a great day. And I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.